Monday the 11th of December, 2023. First reading. Reading from the book of Isaiah. Let the wilderness and the dry lands exult. Let the wasteland rejoice and bloom. Let it bring forth flowers like the jonquil. Let it rejoice and sing for joy. The glory of Lebanon is bestowed on it. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen all weary hands, steady all trembling knees, and say to all faint hearts, Courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming. Vengeance is coming. The retribution of God, he is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of the dumb sing for joy. For water gushes in the desert, streams in the wasteland, the scorched earth becomes a lake, the parched land springs of water, the lairs where the jackals used to live, become thickets of reed and papyrus, and through it will run a highway undefiled, which shall be called the sacred way. The unclean may not travel by it, nor fools stray along it, no lion will be there, nor any fierce beast roam about it, but the redeemed will walk there, for those the Lord has ransomed shall return. They will come to Zion shouting for joy, everlasting joy on their faces. Joy and gladness will go with them, and sorrow and lament be ended. Responsorial Psalm Look, our God is coming to save us. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Look, our God is coming to save us. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Look, our God is coming to save us. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Look, our God is coming to save us. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight, and all mankind shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. Jesus was teaching one day, and among the audience there were Pharisees and doctors of the law who had come from every village in Galilee, from Judea and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was behind his works of healing. Then some men appeared, carrying on a bed a paralyzed man whom they were trying to bring in and lay down in front of him. But as the crowd made it impossible to find a way of getting him in, they went up onto the flat roof and lowered him and his stretcher down through the tiles into the middle of the gathering, in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said, My friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to think this over. Who is this man talking blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their thoughts, made them this reply. What are these thoughts you have in your hearts? Which of these is easier, to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, get up and walk? But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralyzed man, I order you, get up and pick up your stretcher and go home. And immediately before their very eyes he got up, picked up what he had been lying on and went home praising God. They were all astounded and praised God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>